Anyway, let's go find the patch. Here it is. Ah, ha ha. Hi, this is Seamless, and I'm back. Um, today, I'm going to talk about uh, a massive patch that somebody on the Image Lion forums came up with. This patch is uh, an attempt to recreate the main bass sound from Kill the Noise, Kill the Noise Part 1. It's a sound that Kill the Noise uses a bit, and a much, a much, a much amount in a lot of his tracks, along with a bunch of other um, more interesting sounds that are a bit harder to get around, but I believe the basis for most of them is this particular sound that uh, our friend from the forums made. His name is Zach Floyd, spelled as you would think it is. Um, the image line forums being the forums of the developers for FL Studio. I hang out there, and uh, there's a thread about how to make it, and I actually had a couple of my own theories about it when I first saw the thread, and I was sort of right and sort of wrong. I was right in the sense of like what the basic theory behind the basic basicness of the sound is, but I was wrong in the sense that he used massive to make it. Or at least that's the prevailing theory, which isn't always the theory that they use massive to make things, but um, that may or may not have been the case. So let's uh, turn down the limiting on the main channel because that was loud. I didn't want it to be that loud, but all right, that's a bit better. Still have my peaks, dynamic range. Don't you like that? Um, anyway, let's go find the patch. Here it is. Ah, ha ha. So that's a pretty fair representation. And even if it's not exact, the how we got here is how you'd get to the end end result sound anyway. It's just a bit of tweaking and mixing and matching uh wave tables wave, blah, wave table sets in massive uh so what's going on in ma in massive right now so we have the there's a bunch of there's filters and all kinds of fun stuff but um, i'll have this patch for download in the uh description so you guys can look at it yourselves i don't really mess around with massive all that much so i'm not a big expert uh, as to how the routing works and how and what how everything sounds and whatever which admittedly is what prevented me from reaching this conclusion myself but Oh, it's whatever. So let's talk about what's going on here. So the, the main the main sound is coming from this oscillator here and then a bit of the modulation oscillator here. So what's going on? Um the main okay i'm pretty sure a lot of you know how massive works and you probably use a lot but i'm going to start i'm going to explain this a little bit anyway massive is a wavetable synth synth and wavetable you can you can google that and you can read it on wikipedia and like it's a pretty good article about it but it basically breaks down to there being a file that it reads that it's like called uh wavetables that is a table of wave shapes and it scans like when you when you move this around the wavetable position, and then also a bit of intensity depending on uh, uh, which wave table set you're using. Um, scans around the wavetable and determines how the shape and which shape it is, and that's how it morphs it. Um, the difference between wavetable synthesis and basically every other kind of synthesis is that the other kinds of synthesis are generated like on the fly, whereas wavetables are reading reading results that were already generated. They are already like. Uh, one of the reasons why I thought that the um, kill the noise sound was an FM sound is because it is. Like the wavetable sets that are making that are, that are making this this kind of modulation, and also the the modulation on top of that are FM effects. But they're kind of hard to do with FM. I haven't managed to figure it out, and it may even be something a little bit more outlandish than just your basic FM because you can manipulate and modulate uh, the waves outside of the generator and get Something much more interesting is you interpolate between it in a wavetable, and that's what that's what massive is. That's what, how massive operates, and that's why massive can come up with some really cool sounds, despite a not being an FM synthesizer, and b really only having just a bunch of like wave pictures. You know what I mean? 
you know what I mean. You might know what I mean. It's not terribly important. Um, and there's also the modulation oscillator built into FM, built into Massive. And what this is, it's a, mi a little mini FM module where you can give its target on, on this here in the oscillator window in the mode. And ring mod, ring mod stands for ring modulation. And ring modulation is similar to frequency modulation, where frequency modulation is the modulation of pitch of an oscillator based on another oscillator. Ring modulation is the modulation of amplitude based on an oscillator. So it's like FM only for volume. Uh, Citrus actually has an entire ring modulation page, which I never mentioned. I never mentioned or bring up or use, but uh, if you're curious, it's there. And this is that's how that's applied to this patch, and it gives it a certain additional bubbly sound. Now you can also use the modulation oscillator to oscillate the pitch of uh, the oscillators one and two and three by us using the phase uh, option and phase modulation as it's used here is actually kind of, it's, it basically has an FM effect to the point where I'm pretty sure that's how most soft synth FM synthesizers operate anyway. Or something, I'm, I'm not hundred percent on that, but basically it's basically pitch your normal FM type and you only get one. So you can't really do uh, complicated like formant stuff with having higher harmonic oscillations or whatever, but the basic kind of squelch sound that that's not already in the, uh, wavetable itself, depending on intensity, which some of them are, um, can come from that additionally. You can use that to get that kind of sound, even if it, the wavetable set doesn't do it itself. So that's something to think of. Also has a uh, wavetable position type and also a filter type. So that all in conjunction, and then a whole bunch of modulation from this one, from this one LFO makes the sound that we hear here. So that's the one sound that you get from this and you can look at the patch and you can mess with it and it's fine. But there are a whole bunch of other sounds that Kill the Noise utilizes in lots of his songs. And how do you get that? Now, I, I would not know that it comes from directly this patch, but there are some things you can do to the patch that can make more interesting uh, modulation. Um, a lot of it's vowel based stuff. Like you could put wow filter over it or a talk box. Some guy somewhere said that Kill the Noise himself uses a hardware talk box, which is not, terribly far-fetched and um so if that's something you have access to you can give it a shot and see what happens but um when i was putting together this video and it had been materials and whatever i was experimenting with uh using a vocodex and only using it with uh the main just just this together there's no other carrier operator it is its own carrier and modulator not operator modulator its own carrier and modulator and i'll give you a little uh, info as to the basic controls that you can utilize here. So I'm just going to do some things. Also, as for um, modulating beyond just having the LFO going on there, uh, you everywhere that you see number five listed, you can take one of these macros and bring it in there. And, you know, mess, mess around with it to make it the full range. And then you can modulate that. Um, some people were saying that Kill the Noise uses only the step sequencer. It just has different instances of Massive to uh, determine which phrase he's using. And that's because uh, apparently there's some kind of internal dampening uh, or softening of, of the manual modulation, which means if you were to automate sharp curves, it wouldn't really be that sharp. It's something that you can turn off manually in other uh, plugins, and I don't know. If, I don't even know if you can in Massive because I just haven't tried to find it that hard. But um, in case you're trying to modulate something and it's not sharp enough for you, you can use the internal. Um, I don't even know the internal step sequencer, and uh, it should help out for that particular goal or something. Anywho. Um, but, that, but for now, I'm just going to keep using that because it, it gets the job done. So what I've done here is I've put it on order four, which uh, I'm really not. I'm, I mean, I know what it does and these things do in theory, but like I just haven't seen it really like apply practically that much. But I like number four for what I'm doing here. And then it, you, number four really accentuates the settings you have here for the uh, filter fatness setting, which is what this is. So you can see that. And I'm also messing with the uh, pitch modulator. 
And as for what what that does, the vocoder when you make when you make it um, have when we have the incoming sound be the carrier and the modulator, um, it's basically affecting the carrier by itself. So if you have no settings, it'll the only sound that you'll get are the artifacts from there being only so many bands as opposed to just the entire sound. And so if you if you pitch shift it it shifts the bands down. It doesn't actually change the pitch of the incoming sound, but it changes how that sound is interpreted in the bands uh, up and down the spectrum. So... This is the basic pitch setting right here. And you can see how, you see how these bands are up here. And that's just what the sound looks like normally. And so then if I bring it down, it basically... These, these bands are going to EQ differently. And that makes the character of the sound seem lower, even though it's actually not. And that's um, the unison setting. You can mess with that. That's kind of fun. Now, already you can kind of see how that's more it's more complicated modulation than what was already going on in the sound. So it could be good, useful for accenting phrases like Kill the Noise does in his own tracks. However, um, and also these are all automatable. Which if you've seen um, the playthroughs of, my, of any of my videos, I use Vocodex stuff in. I have like a hundred mon like, automation clips going on is because I'm modeling a lot of things that are inside Vocodex to create extremely complicated uh, modulation. Um, one in particular, if you were to check out Menagerie or even um, the Skrillex track, uh, the Skrillex remix track that I did uses Vocodex processing a lot and it's also free. So if you don't want to pay to get the FLPs for the other tracks, you can just pick up that one and you can look at the uh, Vocodex processing there. I have also various tutorials. I talk about it in How to Base 8, which is uh, I think the last one I talked about that in. I also talked about it a bit in 11 or 12 or 13. I don't remember. <laughs> it's whatever the one that I was doing, the top track one. Um, but that was that was more complicated. <laughs> so forget it. Just look at how to base eight. How to base eight will get you there. Um, I can even go further by going into the uh, line editors for most of these. So this is this is the modular modulator pitch shift line editor. So up here we have the the the, the um, general control. It's up like up or down, and this controls controls per band. So if I were to bring this down, I can bring it down even further, but only right there. And uh, just like also with bandwidth, so this is this is the main control for bandwidth. I can go into the bandwidth line editor. This is the modula modulator bandwidth multiplier, which means that it uh, changes the band the band's distribution based on over here, which is all the way over to uh, to modulator, and over here, which is all the way over to carrier. So those are, those bands are more closely related to what the carrier is doing, which is the main sound that we're hearing that's being modulated by the modulator, and over here, closer to what the modulator is doing, which is interesting if you use it in this example because this is uh, the same sound for carrier and modulator. But these settings apply to the to the modulator, which makes it different. <clears throat> so that's a pretty basic thing to do. Um, you could, like I mentioned before, you can use Wow filter. A lot of people do that, and it does the job well enough. Um, you could use a talk box. You can use the hardware talk box. This is rumored that KTN himself uses Kill the Noise. Um, also, I, I did the Vocodex with just using the same sound as the modulator and carrier. You can also just record yourself making vowel sounds and put it in there and do that. Um, you could uh, 
do what I did with the glitch hop track, which was to have a sound and then modulate it with uh, the vowel the really sharp vowel FM sound from Citrus, and use that as the modulation to the Harmer Basses Carrier in Vocodex. There's a lot of extremely complicated things you can do, and a lot of that is what's going to get you to have more interesting sounds. Anywho, um, this video is mostly just about this patch, which is made again by the guy Zach Floyd from the Image Line forums who graciously allowed me to bring this to you on my channel, which is very good because this is important information. People like to know about the kill the noise type sound. This is only a kill the noise type sound. There's a lot more that he does that are way more complicated that I just haven't figured out how to do. So in the meantime, here's this. And uh, even if it's not really the exact sound, it's there's probably something you can do with some of these uh, w, wavetables WT sets wave tables that will get you there. I just don't know enough about how they sound to really like know which orientation of it will get you there. As well, I still maintain that you can get there using FM synthesis if you try hard enough, but I have tried hard enough and I haven't really got there, so I, I didn't really know. Um, anywho, thanks for watching. I'm back. I will do more videos. I'll make more songs. I can use my computer again. Oh, it's so good. Oh, God, this computer is amazing. I just built it. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. I love y'all.